Hi, yes, yeah, so team, this is a bit of an update on filling in your UCAS application to try and streamline the process and stop me having to send it back to you lots of time. So I'm set up a, a pretend UCAS application. I'm going to just go through some of the key points on that with you. So let's just have a look and find that. OK, so this is my my pretend UCAS application in the name of Hermione Granger. Um, so obviously most of this you'll be absolutely fine to fill in. You can make sure everything is ticked off um, and set properly with your uh, your address details. Make sure that your um, email address is set uh, correctly. It shouldn't be your school one. Um, you can pick various other bits from here. Now, one of the things that you need to add in is your ULN, your unique learner number. This means that uh, UCAS can actually find your details really quickly and easily on uh, the system, they can look at your qualifications easily. You will find this on your results slip from the summer, which I'm sure you took a photo of, so have a look on your phone. If not, send us an email and we'll find it for you. OK, it's we can only find that in school, though. Um, a couple of other things down here. Now, the student support, this is really important. This is for student finance. The fee code should be 02, the UK Student Finance Service student support arrangements then if you click on this list then you've got to scroll all the way down and find Rhonda Cun and Tap. Now obviously if you live in Bridgend or if you live in Cardiff you select that area instead. Okay so there's other bits and pieces on here as well. Um, you don't need to put in nominated access and um, that's not your referee that's someone like your parent or guardian. If you want your parents to be able to speak to you cast on your behalf say if you're planning to go traveling next summer then you might be able to. Um, disability or special needs, if you've got any kind of special needs, so dyslexia, dyspraxia, anything like that, put it in there, OK, and then put the, the details in there as well. Sometimes universities are actually able to give you uh, things like laptops to support you with your learning at university. OK, so that's that section. Um, choices are fairly straightforward. You can go and add your choices. Make sure you look it up. Make sure you've cross referenced your choices with looking at the actual university website so you know that you meet the entry requirements your predicted grades are likely to be the predicted the, the entry requirement grades for the course um, look at these videos as well they are quite useful the other thing that's tripping a lot of people up at the moment is the education section so you need to add your school uh, obviously a pan for some of you there'll be more than one school when you put the dates in september 2014 is when Almost all of you started in year seven and July 2021 is when you will finish. Yes, it is in the future, so you will get this warning up because it must be for the school you're currently attending. That's perfectly correct. OK, so then you have to add qualifications. And when you add the qualifications, this list here of popular qualifications is a list that I have put in for this school. So that means you don't need to go and search for it. So the first thing you'll do is add your A-levels and I'm just going to sort of add a couple of quick ones in there. So let's say Hermione's doing biology, I think she likes that and she's going to get this qualification. So you're going to get your qualification. It can be anything from June to August, it doesn't matter. So let's say June 2021, OK? The awarding organisation for all of your A-levels is the WJC. And the grade, because you don't know what grade you're going to get in your A-levels yet, is pending. You don't need to add the modules and things like that. So let's save that one. So there we can see we've got biology A level. Um, we can then add another A level. So nice and easy. So we can say perhaps, um, I don't know, let's say Hermione's in geography as well. Also going to do that in June 2021 um, with WJC and the grade is pending. So I'm going to save that. So now we've got two A levels in there. You also then need to put in your AS levels um, and these are advanced subsidiary. So obviously you're going to put the same subjects in, the subjects that you've got qualifications and grades for this summer. So qualification date June 2020, uh, 2020 sorry. The awarding organisation again, WJC, and let's say Hermione I think got, a, got an A for that, didn't she? Um, and obviously you, you would, you must put in your your AS grades, you must have at least as many ASs as you do A-levels. Um, obviously, you may well have dropped a subject 
um, in which case you would put the AS grade in, but not the A-level grade if you're not going to be continuing with that this year. And I think Hermione definitely, she would have got A's in everything, wouldn't she, without a doubt. So we can put those in. Other qualifications you need to put in. Um, obviously, if you're doing medical science, so you've got the, the diploma, which is the um, the full course you do at the end of the two years. If you're only if you dropped it at the end of year 12, it's the applied certificate. Um, tourism, you put in there, there's a the criminology. Um, if you're doing IT this year, you will be doing the OCR level three Cambridge Technical Introductory Diploma. Um, let's put in the Welsh Bac as well. So at the moment, you're currently working towards the Welsh Baccalaureate Advanced Skills Challenge Certificate. So again, you're going to get that in June 2021. It's only the WJC and you can just put in a grade of pending. You don't have to put your modules in there. You can if you want, but you really don't have to. So that's um, A level subjects so six form subjects, but also you've got to put in your GCSEs. So we're going to start with GCSE grades A to G. Um, let's say uh, we can put in chemistry. Uh, actually, I'm not going to put chemistry in. I'm going to put English. So we've got qualification date. It would have been June 2019. Um, again, WJC. And let's put an A star for that for Hermione. I'm not going to put in a whole list of GCSEs here. So we can see one there. What I am going to add is other things here. So if you did double award science, you didn't do triple science, don't put two science GCSEs in, put GCSE double award. You'll find there's not very many subjects in there. We did science, the qualification date again, June 2019 from WJC and it gives you those are the combined grades that, that you could have had from double award science. Finally, you've also got to add the, w, the, the Welsh back that you did in year 11. So this is the National Foundation Skills Challenge Certificate. So let's put June, this, this does take quite a while and it is a bit boring to put in, but it's really important you get these, these right. Okay, again, don't need to put the modules in there. So that then would be eventually, when you've got all your GCSEs in there, a list of your, your qualifications. Um, and you can see that whilst I've put the basic qualifications in there, you can also search if you've done things like Duke of Edinburgh's award. Yeah, so you can search for that and could be that we, we did that in April 2019 as well. Maybe Hermione got her bronze and she's got a pass in that too. So you can put that in as well um, and all sorts of, of other things if you need to. Um, so the only other things to put in employment, you can add your employer um, and you can um, put your statement in, in here as well. Use watch these videos, use them. They're useful to add when you have finished, when everything is finished, that is when you go to pay and send. OK, you pay and send it and it comes to me. It doesn't matter about whether your reference is done. That's my job to worry about that. Um, OK, so you pay for your application, you send it off. It comes to me. I check it in school. OK, I go through it with a fine tooth comb and I check to make sure you haven't made any mistakes. But I've outlined for you the common mistakes and hopefully you can then avoid those and make sure that you can send in a really up to date application. OK, good luck.